Welcome. In this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about how the conversation tree works with Network Monitor and how to use it as a troubleshooting tool. So this tree is hierarchical in nature, and it basically helps you find and focus in into specific uh, frames of a conversation. So maybe for the new folks that are uh, new to networking, let's understand that the traffic itself is not just your file going over the network. It's possibly Mary sending a file to Nancy and Bob to Drew, um, email communication, internet browser traffic. So it's not even a single application that's sending that doubt, data out. There's multiple things going on. So again, it goes back to our conversations at a cocktail party uh, example that we spoke about in our other video. You might have lots of conversations that are going on in the room, but you want to focus in on one conversation. Well, really, when you take a tape recording, all that conversation is there at the same time. So you need some way to break that out. And this conversation tree is a simple way to do that. So as we um, look at the tree itself, you can see at the top level, we split it into two things normally when you're taking a trace. Now in this example, I've loaded this trace up, but I took it earlier. So I have all traffic, which is just going to be all the traffic in the trace. Then it's usually split into other traffic and my traffic. Well, in a loaded trace, we, we don't yet split that up and keep that information um, as part of the view. But we do keep the process information underneath that. And as you can see, we have Internet Explorer and a bunch of other processes that were captured at the time I did this, this trace. So now you'll notice that when I clicked on IE, that the frame summary on the right side here actually updated and was refreshed basically with only those frames that Internet Explorer has sent. So this allows you to quickly focus in and see that that is the traffic that it's sending and now you can inspect it uh, further and, and scroll through it. But it acts like a filter. It only shows those frames. So the next thing I want to show you real quick is a snag that you might get into when using the conversation tree along with the display filter. So let's go ahead and say I wanted to filter in the HTTP traffic only. I apply my filter and of course I get the HTTP traffic. But what you have to realize is that it's a combination of both what you click in the tree along with the display filter. So if I click on another node in the tree, again it's combining them, HTTP and this service host that I've selected, and of course no traffic comes up. So you either want to remove your filter at that point uh, to show the extra traffic you didn't see. Or maybe you want to go at the top of the node and not filter in on the specific node when you apply your filter. So just remember that when using both the display filter and the conversation tree. So now let's discuss another way to use the conversation tree. This time we'll be starting from the frame summary view and working back to the tree. And I'm going to use the control G to go to frame 612. And maybe I'm interested in this traffic. I know that worldwide telescope is causing some problem maybe. Um, and I want to find other frames like this. So I can right mouse click on that frame. And then once I do, it brings up a menu. I can do find conversations. And then I can locate the specific conversations, any of them, to see what that traffic is in more detail and without all the extra information going on. And then you'll notice as I do this, it actually selects the node in the tree, highlights it. So again, we're filtering this traffic in the frame summary. So now I see only this traffic. So it sort of followed this traffic in the tree based on HTTP. And it did both things at, for, for me at the same time. So the first useful thing, obviously, is that it, again, located just that thread of traffic, just the HTTP portion of that traffic. I could have selected TCP and IPv4 as well. And there might also be other conversations. Other protocols could potentially build conversations to track other things that are specific to them. So what this does secondarily 
is that it also gives us other suspects, other things that might be related to the problem because I can go to other threads immediately and say, okay, well, maybe this one, I knew it was uh, Windows Worldwide Telescope, but I didn't know it could be here or maybe in this frame. So it gives you another way of quickly narrowing down the information. So I hope you learned some things about using conversations and some pitfalls, um, as well as some useful tips for narrowing down the traffic. Thanks. Thanks.